Hello and welcome to the Writers and Illustrators of the Future podcast. This is John Goodwin, your host. Today's guest is Illustrators of the Future winner, Jennifer Ober. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi, nice to meet you. Great so to be here. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. So um, how long have you been, have been working your, applying your trade as an artist? I'm applying my trade, so probably since I was about 16 by the government standards. <laughs> 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 I've been um, doing art since I was about six. My parents um, have been encouraging me to do so um, with art lessons and such. Um, but I officially started my business when I was 16. So. Wow. So what business? I don't know about that. Um, so technically, um, after a certain dollar amount, the government says we want money. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I had to register as a business, uh, self employed uh, self-employed business. So, so what kind of art? Um, illustration and some fine art as well. Um, currently I have a number of commissions for the fine art side. So it's been quite interesting. Wow. That's great. So now you're also going to school. Yes. I'm going to the Savannah college of art and design in Atlanta and I'm getting my master's in illustration. Good. So now, so you've won Rise the, uh, the Illustrators of the Future. So how did you learn about that? Um, actually from a friend of mine. Um, last year's w winner, Raina, uh, she is a friend of mine, and she um, had the opportunity to come out last year. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I would like to try my luck at it. And um, I was very lucky to be to chosen. Win. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, she... I invited her to visit with us at uh, Dragon Con, and she was there last year when she went to Dragon Con, and obviously follow her on her social with all of her, her weightlifting stuff. Yes, and, but yes. I like it when I see her art. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, have you always wanted to be? An, I, I guess if you started at six, you've uh, pretty much been locked and loaded on art. Yeah, I did try other avenues because I do have a few other passions, but nothing as strong as art. Um, nothing felt right mm -hmm. um except for doing art so i've been pursuing that more um focused now that i'm in um college so good so now tell me about the, the art that you submitted that you won with uh yeah so um the f f first two are going to be pieces that i did for classes so one of them was a illustration for the story baba yaga and this particular story, since there's many stories about Baba Yaga, she's a Russian folk um, tale character. This one was about Vasilisa, who's kind of like a Russian Cinderella. And Vasilisa has to do a certain number of tasks for Baba Yaga. And one of the days, she has her doll that helps her. And so one of the days, she um, has time to look about Baba Yaga's house. Um, she doesn't touch anything. She's make sure that everything's um, kept where it's supposed to be. Um, but it describes how um, interesting and mysterious some of the items are. And so I really wanted to capture that in my illustration. Uh, the second piece uh, was going to be a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. So it's Alice in Prehistoric Land because uh, <laughs> prehistoric <laughs> animals are another passion of mine. I definitely see that in all your art. You're <laughs> like, wow. Um, and so uh, that piece was when Alice met the caterpillar, mm -hmm. but instead of a normal caterpillar, I chose a prehistoric uh, centipede-like creature. So I forgot its name at the moment, but um, yeah, so that's their encounter. Uh, the final piece was a, co a concept piece I did um, for my own personal stuff and along with some school. At, um, school stuff as well. Um, that one was, I wanted to try doing something a little bit more dark. I usually, even though I, my palette can be kind of towards the darker side, the content is usually a little bit more, um, more, more children friendly. Yeah. <laughs> and so this one, I wanted it to be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more, um, edgy, and so this was that was my attempt at working at that. Well, good. Obviously, it worked because you won. <laughs> now, um, tell me about the piece that you illustrated for Volume Thirty Five. Uh, yeah, so um, I illustrated the piece for an itch, and um, 
it was actually when I was reading it, it was kind of a uh, personal almost um because the characters i had identified it with um my relationship with my sister in some ways um we we were close and then we had a little bit of a rocky rocky time but now we're um coming along now but that rocky time was um was brought up with some of the um illustration stuff in there so well that's great so now you, you're moving forward with your career as, as an artist. What would you, any advice you have for, because people who listen to this are going to be the aspiring artists. Mm. So any particular advice or suggestions you can offer at this point to other people that are looking to pursue a career? Yeah, I would say um, follow your passions, but be smart about it. Um, so I would say practice, practice, practice whatever you love there is a market for it but you've got to practice and work at it um if you're wanting to go into say fantasy work um it is a difficult path to take um but if you're really wanting to work at it then go for it and um do you have some sort of um other venue where you can still do that type of work so if um book illustration is not quite what works out for fantasy maybe it's concept work for gaming maybe it's backgrounds for animation so um do find um ways to diversify Mm -hmm. but do still try to follow your passions on that good so now what do you see for yourself now in your future as an artist um well um it's kind of going along down those routes um i plan to work for a gaming or animation company doing backgrounds or concept work um and then we're still working with book um illustration because i do enjoy it quite immensely and so hopefully i'll be able to go freelance down the road Mm -hmm. but um starting out i think learning from others in the industry in a group environment would be quite beneficial sure so this week coming up ahead of you now what are you most looking forward to Oh, I'm looking forward to um, meeting other um, aspiring fantasy illustrators and um, learning from professionals in the industry. Um, And I hope that I'll be able to uh, apply what I learn to Mm -hmm. my um, own personal career. Good. Now, is there anybody in particular that's been a a major influence with with you and your art? Um, So number of people have been like little bits and pieces here mm-hmm. and there um a couple of um animation um artists so aaron blaze he does a lot of animal animation but he does some illustration work as well he's starting to move in that direction and so the way that he's able to give quite a uh familiar caricature with the animals so how they are they still look like anatomically fairly correct but they still have that sense of um human emotion Mm -hmm. is quite beautiful and i i would like to incorporate that in my work um and then um, a number of my professors of course have influenced my work uh goni montez uh brick level and um and some of my people that I know from back home. So um, my old art teacher from high school, uh, Ricardo Chavez Mendez. So. Yeah, that's great. And then your parents are obviously supportive. Yes, yes. Obviously. Uh, yeah, it was a it was an unusual thing for them to um, to handle because they're both uh, very scientifically minded, and so to have an <laughs> artist, they're like, oh, what to do? <laughs> and so, but they've been very supportive with it all the way. That's awesome. Well, I wish you all the best. Well, thank you so much. And I look forward to uh, seeing your future work, Jennifer. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for our next installment of the Writers of the Future podcast. Subscribe to the Writers of the Future podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Writers and Illustrators of the Future are contests created by Elrond Hubbard to provide a means for the aspiring writer and artist to be seen and acknowledged. It is free to enter and open to new and amateur short story writers and artists of science fiction or fantasy.